So I've stumbled upon a feature of the new MacBooks which has totally blown my mind and has absolutely changed the way that I make videos. The funny thing is I haven't heard any of the big tech reviewers talk about this and Apple didn't even make that much noise about it. You see, it turns out that the microphone on the M1 Pro MacBook and presumably all other new MacBooks is absolutely insane. This will be particularly useful to anyone who puts voiceovers onto their videos. But if you're interested in the new MacBooks at all, you need to know that they're capable of this. So let's set the scene, okay? Let's imagine that I'm on a houseboat on a lake filming a video for my other YouTube channel. That's literally exactly what I'm doing right now. And let's say that I need to record a voiceover that's good enough for the final video, but I don't really like carrying my Shure SM7B or my Scarlett 2i2 with me to any of these projects. That's a nice microphone and an interface in order to plug the microphone into the laptop. That's quite a lot to carry when you're traveling around. Now, what if I told you that this laptop is capable of doing that without a microphone, and I know it is because I've been doing it in basically all my videos for the past six months. Before I show you this, let's put it to the test, okay? Here's two clips. One of these is recorded on a professional mic, the other is straight into the laptop. This means it can be perfect for a cozy, romantic getaway or a fun family adventure. Nestled high up into the Mid Wales Hills, this is definitely a stay I'll remember. And back at the fire, the treehouse glows and lights up the trees around it. It should feel edgy sat in the woods alone, but it kind of feels like the treehouse is looking over you. Okay, so let me show you how I do this. I've already shot some video of this space. Now at home, I literally record my voiceovers with my laptop just sat on my bed because the duvet around it gives me enough kind of sound treatment to make it sound good. And luckily, this houseboat has a bed. Now I want to make something clear, okay? I've been a professional musician for about 15 years. I have been in pro studio, so I'm not being a total noob and saying, hey, guess what? Like the bed is just as good as a studio. I understand about acoustics and sound treatment and things like that, but just hear me out. Wait, see what you think of this, okay? So I've got a couple of videos here. I'm gonna drag these onto my timeline. Now we've done that, I just jump over to Fairlight. I'm gonna make a new audio track here. Add tracks, mono, that's fine for the laptop. So I'm just gonna, what I have to do now, I have to go to here and I have to go input. This is probably different on your one if you're not using Resolve, but I'm gonna to go to here. I'm just gonna click on audio two and patch. So all I have to do is mute this, then hit R, because if, if I don't mute it, it will feed back, you see, because the laptop will hear itself. Now I just have to hit record, but I'm going to find my, um, my clip here. So it starts about there, and this is literally all I'm going to do, okay? Welcome to the Blackbird houseboat in the southwest of England. I'm here to film a video for my Airbnb channel. Okay, that's it. Now all I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Dynamics here. I'm just going to chuck a bit of compression on it, you know, squeeze it like that. Bit of makeup there, and I'm going to throw a gate on it. So just turn that on, okay? Little tiny bit of processing. I'm just going to throw a little bit of backing behind it as well. So just literally drop that in. You ready? Welcome to the Blackbird houseboat in the southwest of England. I'm here to film a video for my Airbnb channel. What did you think of that? That's pretty good, right? It's not just me. That's pretty good. I've just spoke into the laptop. Quick point, okay? I think the microphone is might be here. It might be on both sides. I've tried speaking into it like this, like right into the speaker. That doesn't sound as good. If I'm just right in front of it like this and I just speak in my voiceover voice, I'm here in this houseboat, blah, blah, blah. If I speak like that, just right into the screen, it just sounds like that. Let's go again. Welcome to the Blackbird houseboat in the Southwest of England. I'm here to film a video for my Airbnb channel. What do you think? That's pretty good, right? It's not just me. That's not just my ears. That's good, right? Now I've been doing all my voiceovers like that for way over six months. Now I know that's not pro studio quality, it's not perfect, but honestly, I've got no mic, no interface and no sound treatment. And to me, that's mind blowing. Now this machine has made a massive difference to my workflow in all sorts of different ways, but to be able to record decent voiceovers while I'm away has absolutely knocked it out of the park. I create videos for my Airbnb tours channel this way. I create videos for my new photography channel. Both of those uh, links in the description to those channels. That's probably news to a lot of you. But let me know, what do you think? Were those voiceovers good enough for you? They're good enough for me and I think they sound great, but were they good enough for you, honestly? Put some headphones on, maybe listen back. And to all my subscribers, the studio at home is built. I'll probably be back to normal by my next upload and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.